All right, let's get this thing. Let's step up on the front deck and let's pick this thing apart a little bit. And I'm going to show you a couple of the key casts that I make and I'm going to show you how I work the bait. Um, if you look at this mat right here, you know, for sure a high percentage spot for me are going to be the irregularities of this mat. And if I actually point the rod tip down here at this, you can see it right here we've got a little hole in the mat. Right up here we have another little hole. There's another little small little coffee can size hole. These are feeding stations to me. And these three casts are often going to be my first three casts on this mat. After I make those casts, the next part I want to hit is what I call the heart of the mat. And this is where you're going to catch the very biggest fish ever when you're flipping mats. And the heart of the mat means the thickest portion of it. So if you look at this one, the center of it, right there, and here's another one, right up there, are the very most dense parts and they almost look like total canopies. They're gonna be my fourth and fifth cast before I move on to the next mat. When I flip in this thing, one of the most important things I wanna do is get it under that mat, but I wanna let it fall on a semi-slack line. A lot of the bites, sometimes up to 50% of the bites you get, happen as the bait falls. So when I make that flip into that hole, I'm not letting it fall on a tight line and I'm not letting it fall on a super slack line. But when it, it goes through, I'm actually going to bow to the bait to let it fall on semi slack line. Most of these mats, zero to 10 foot deep, you can make that flip and you could just bow to it to let it fall on a semi slack line. Once that bait hits the bottom, if I don't get a bite on initial fall, this is my normal routine on how I'm gonna work that bait. I'm gonna hop it two or three times on the bottom. I'm gonna give that ch fish a chance to respond to that bait. I'm gonna pull it up, and right before that bait comes out of the mat, I'm gonna use a technique that I call ticking the roof. And what that means is when that bait comes up, I'm gonna tick the roof once, twice, three times, and then one last time, I'm going to let it fall back down to the bottom, hop it once, and if I don't get bit, I'm going to bring it out and I'm going to make my next cast. So remember those two elements. Remember hopping it on the bottom as it falls through, ticking that roof a couple times, let it fall down one last time, and then bring it through and make your next cast. One last tip. When you get to that heart of that mat, the thickest portion, and if you're having a problem, even with a heavy weight, just casting it regular, don't be afraid to get your bait and actually launch it up in the air. And when you do that, when you let that bait kind of get some momentum by lifting up, it gets momentum falling down and a lot of times it'll actually puncture through that mat because of that weight falling up. So do anything you can to get through that heart of the mat because that's a key cast for catching those giants. And the information Bash University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.